Hello and welcome. We're in Scotland and to be more geographically precise, we're in Falkirk, the Helix Park. Behind me, over my shoulder, are the massive art installations known as the Kelpies. Let's go and have a look at them. Each sculpture stands at 30 metres high. They weigh 300 tonnes each. And there are 1,200 tonnes of steel reinforced concrete foundations per head. They were built on site over a 90 day period between the 17th of June and the 27th of November 2013. There are 928 unique stainless steel skin plates that make up each sculpture. The name of the Kelpies was chosen by the Scottish Canals at the inception of the project. They believed that the name reflected a mythological transforming beast that possessed the strength and endurance of a thousand horses. A quality that reflected the transformational change of our landscapes, the endurance of our inland waterways and the strength of our communities. The origin of the belief in malevolent water horses has been proposed as originating in human sacrifices that were once made to appease gods that were associated with water. But narratives about the Kelpie have also served a practical purpose in keeping children away from dangerous stretches of water. Andy Scott was the lead sculptor of the Kelpies. His design followed the history of the heavy horse of industry and economy, pulling the wagons and ploughs barges and coal ships that shaped the structural layout of the area they now stand in. He's been quoted as saying, I see the Kelpies as a personification of the local and national equine history, of the lost industries of Scotland. I also envisage them as a symbol of a modern Scotland, 